The Forces of Attraction and Repulsion The forces of attraction and repulsion are two fundamental forces used to form the universe. Spiritually, the universe is and was constructed from cosmic eggs, and we have a video describing the cosmic egg. When the cosmic eggs are very tightly held together by the attractive force, we obtain a very solid object we call physical. When the repulsive force is balancing the attractive force, we get liquids, like mercury and water. And when the attractive force has all but disappeared, we get a gas, where the repulsive force actually keeps every cosmic egg apart. But in those forces we have a metaphysical concept that is not only apparent in the natural world, but is also evident in the supernatural world. Thus we have a unique opportunity to examine these forces in operation via their expression in nature and via their expression in spiritual experiences, the so-called supernatural. Natural It was Sir Isaac Newton who first established there was an attractive force between objects. He called it gravity and indicated that it was dependent on the mass of each object. Thus an object of lesser mass is drawn towards an object of greater mass, which is why we would weigh less on different planets. But also why the moon has an effect on water the moon, being a very large solid object, pulls on the water droplets, even though it is some distance away. John Dalton, FRS, 5th or 6th of September 1766 to the 27th of July 1844, the English chemist and Quaker, continued Newton's work using elements. Dalton introduced the idea of classifying elements by the relative weight of their atoms in 1806. Dalton's first list of elements contained only six – hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, sulphur and phosphorus – and compared their relative weights to that of hydrogen. The periodic table arranges the chemical elements into rows, periods and columns, groups. It is used in both chemistry and physics. The Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev was the first to produce such a table in 1869. It was only through Mendeleev's efforts to make sense of the chemical and physical properties of the chemical elements and their compounds that Mendeleev devised the periodic law. But only elements up to atomic number 94 exist in nature, the rest were made in a laboratory. In essence there are 118 elements, because men synthesised 24 of them. Natural but based on spirit There comes a point where the study of material things alone, whether solids, gases or liquids, reaches a dead end. And we are led into an area that is far more spiritual and recognises other types of aggregation. And here, extremely complex configurations of the forces of attraction and repulsion are used to achieve aggregates, like a football crowd that are not physically bound together, but where one mind provides the forces needed. Like a shepherd, his border collie and his flock of sheep. And such bonds can be extremely strong. 
like those between a human and a greatly loved animal. A human and other humans, in this case an adult with her godchild. And again, an adult with a baby. Or even an adult with an unrelated child, where the bond is created by the father. These bonds are not destroyed by smashing atoms together, but when broken they physically hurt. Their effect is far greater than a blip on a computer screen. Supernatural We have a video that explains how these laws can be used to create a spiritual experience. How does each type of spiritual experience work? Part 3. The Laws of Attraction and Repulsion The person does not use their five senses, but harnesses their sixth sense to, for example, a port objects, fire walk, levitate, or walk on water, perform psychokinesis, bend spoons, or control the weather. And we have other videos in this channel describing how people also use this sixth sense. Mrs. Dora van Gelderkunz used her abilities to see illnesses in great detail in a patient using the energy field of the person, the aura, the chakras, as well as the templates. When a Gerard Quasi used his abilities to solve baffling crimes, help grateful parents by locating missing children, and act as a healer, he was using spiritual experience, his sixth sense. And the gifted, like Indridi Indridison, could often do multiple things. Even Carl Gustav Jung had an out-of-body experience. A warning. It is as though the world of materialistic physics and chemistry has come to a halt. Having reached the end of its exploratory phase, but the realm of the supernatural instead has taken its place. But this realm can only be explored by the humble, the gifted, and those with honest motives. As soon as the person abuses the privilege, aiming to make money from it or harness it, the access is denied, the abilities are removed, and they could be punished spiritually. We have a link in the description to the entry for Dr. Keith Harari, known as Blue Harari. Keith himself did have natural ability, but he was persuaded by others to harness his skills and make money from them, and as a consequence, he eventually lost them. The Psy Encyclopedia Russell Targ left the Stargate Project in 1982. He formed Delphi Associates with psychologist and remote viewer Keith Harari and businessman Anthony White. Their first project was a successful experiment at psychically predicting the market in silver futures. All of nine forecasts were correct and the team shared their profit of $120,000 with their two investors, as reported in the Wall Street Journal. However, the next year's attempt was not successful, which Targ attributes to the partner's motivations having become less spiritual and more greed-based. So the next big breakthroughs in science will only come from those who have no interest in money but a great deal more interest in spirituality. <laughs>